Well, there could be a snag on the redevelopment of the Mobile Civic Center, and it's all about minority participation in the multi-million dollar project. Portions of the project with Volkert Engineering will have minority business participation, but not the first phase of the project, which is a $1 million contract for a program manager. That doesn't sit well with one council member who says he plans to encourage fellow council members to vote against approving the contract if that's not changed. NBC 15's Darwin Singleton is watching the story for us tonight. He joins us now. Darwin. Well, Kim, this first contract, which gets the project rolling, threatened to come to a screeching halt during this morning's pre-council meeting. That million dollar contract for a program manager you just mentioned, well, that would go to Volkert Engineering if the council approves. Second District Council member William Carroll objected to the fact that there was no part of that contract reserved for minority bidders. A decision, he says, was made before he retook his seat on the city council. He says if that doesn't change by next week, when the project is expected to go up for a vote by the council, he'll vote against it and will encourage others on the council to do the same. Um, I talked to uh, a representative from Volcat this morning and uh, asked was it there and it's not. He said they're getting telephone calls, but they, you know, it wasn't in the proposal that was sent out for requests for services. And I think that our proposal should have that included. So I may ask uh, my colleagues to deny this contract and make sure that we get the required proposal or the required participation from minority vendors into this contract before we let it go. Now, several future contracts for the bulk of the project will include minority participation, totaling nearly $30 million so far. Now, at one point, Chief of Staff James Barber explained this first contract doesn't include additional minority contracts because it's actually just one person doing that job, working with the city to oversee the project. I don't think that was described in, in the information that we had that it was a person it sounded like a company more it's people a professional more. service agreement with the firm a, who has brought person. in a person to be embedded with the city full time to oversee this project and this program now council member corey penn immediately agreed with carol to hold the project back if this issue isn't settled now the million dollar program manager contract with volkert is expected to come up for a vote next Tuesday. I imagine there will be a lot of behind the scene discussion and wrangling over this issue between now and then, Cam.